Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, Julianne here. If you're new, welcome, click on the subscribe button and then the bell next to it so you don't miss any uploads. If you're a returning subscriber, I love you, welcome and I appreciate you. Go ahead, give this video a like. Today we're making wax sprinkles. Let me show you what they are if you don't know what they are. This is a tropical banana scented candle and yes, those are sprinkles on the rim of the jar. All made of wax. So guys, let's get straight into making wax sprinkles. First, I want to give a shout out to Kate for this awesome review about her candle crystals. They've been amazing for her and I'm grateful for her review. So I'm using paraffin wax and soy. You can use either soy or paraffin. It doesn't matter. Just whip it right. And I'm using red color block and the rest of them are color chips. So I have red, pink, green, yellow purple blue and orange all right let's get straight into melting down our wax i like to put in my colors to melt down with the wax at the same time instead of melting the wax first and then adding the color i prefer to melt it at the same time that way i get to test the colors to see if i'm satisfied with the color or if i would want a darker shade so it makes the process easier for me so right now i'm just shaving off my color blocks into my wax and then i'm going to melt it down while the wax is melting i'm just going to prepare this workspace cover it up a bit because it's going to get really really messy and then i'm preparing my piping bag i'm just using a basic plastic bag i just want a really really tiny hole if you have a piping tip that has a really really tiny tip then that's fine but i'm making several colors so i'm just using a bag that i can dispose and change make sure that the tip you cut out is really really tiny otherwise your wax sprinkles are going to come out really fat if you're not going for a fat wax sprinkle look then you should cut your bag really really tiny the wax is melted now i'm just going to give it a little stir let it cool down a little bit and then i'm going to come back and whip it real good so it's cool now and i'm in the whipping process now i'm going to whip and whip and whip and whip and whip until i have the right texture that i'm looking for the thing with whipping wax is you don't stop whipping once you start whipping if you want it to cool down just leave it let it cool down that's fine when it's cooler you can just give it a stir and put it in your bag but if you're whipping your wax then whip and whip that wax right now i'm just whipping this wax so just watch me whip Okay, so this texture looks fantastic to me. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a little bit more stir and then go ahead and put it in my piping bag. Make sure to subscribe if you have not subscribed. Give this video a good like and comment down below if you have any questions so far. So that's ready. Now, the secret to doing this is doing it extremely slow. If you do it fast, you don't rush this process. You don't rush this part. If you do it fast, you will get a big blob or a big squirt of wax. But if you take your time and do it really slow, you get that really nice, smooth, straight line. It doesn't matter if it's not straight because you're going to end up cutting it up anyway. But you would get that straight wax sprinkle defined look so do it really slow take your time you don't want to rush this process so as you can see i think i cut my piping bag a bit too big so my wax 
sprinkles are going to be bigger than expected but they actually still look fabulous to me i actually like the size but make sure that you cut your piping bag tiny if you want your wax sprinkles to come out tiny looks like i cut mine a bit too big but that's fine it still looks fabulous So it's done and I'm just going to leave it out here to dry up then I'm going to take a knife and cut through it. So right now I'm just cutting tiny bits, breaking up that straight line into little pieces. I'm going to go ahead and do the whole thing just watch the process now that's all ready all you need to do is lay it out to dry overnight make sure that they are all separated from each other otherwise when it dries you would have them all clumped together and you don't want that so make sure that they have space to breathe and make sure they dry overnight before you use them don't worry it looks messy now but when it is actually mixed together and on a jar or in a jar it looks fantastic look how beautiful that is with all the colors so beautiful if you want a video on how i place the sprinkles on the jar then leave a comment down below and i'll make that video for you see you in the next video bye